Well, 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 welcome back to King's Quest. It looks like Graham's beard might be growing in a little bit. That's cool. Ooh. Wow, that's quite, ooh. Quite a progression. Uh, <laughs> so I think he's getting a bit older each one. Until you get to that. <laughs> um, so yeah, now we're, we've done A Night to Remember. Rubble without a cause, now we're on Once Upon a Climb. Requisite grown. So let's... See what's next. I began my knighthood in Daventry with nothing to my name except a feather in my cap, a cape for my back, and an appetite for adventures. I remember that one. Questing led me to recover King Edward's magic mirror, and he rewarded me with his throne. I remember that one too. Look at this uh, mound. Yeah, good, good look at that mound. Let's get close up on the mound, guys. Another one. Close up on the mound. <laughs> so we're really in the past. Why do you look at these mounds? Is there a giant mole or something we've come to squish? Oh. I inherited a flawed, but charming kingdom, and I worked tirelessly to restore the land to its former glory. Okay, so we're going through time, is what you're doing now. The mound has been replaced by brambles, I guess. That trellis looked better over there. Uh. Did it? <laughs> uh, Over there, really? What? What? What am I? What am I doing here? Okay. Or here? Hey, I'm flexible. <laughs> I have no idea what this is supposed to achieve. All I know is that we made this grow weirdly. <laughs> I mean, obviously, put a trellis in front of something and it grows. In a few oh, short wow. years, I had grown into the king I'd always wanted to be. And my beard is, isn't oh, great. And I can't be tall. Something still felt like it was missing. Yeah, your pecs aren't big enough, but damn, you're getting swole, Graham. You are beginning to look like Graham from the original games. I mean, you were a weedy little shit, but now look at you. Damn, son. Damn. Oh god, it's, it's Mini Cedric! It's Mini Cedric! No, don't kill Cedric. No! Cedric! Wait, no! There is absolutely no way that could be right. There's no way that could have happened. I was too invested in that owl. I must have missed a detail in the story. <laughs> oh, oh. It's okay, we'll get Cedric back. If you don't know who Cedric is, you haven't lived or played King's Quest V, which is the same thing. Do you want, do you want to shovel? I'll shovel you. Let's go back in time. I do it, don't I? Okay, this is going to be weird. Okay, this is weird. This is very weird. I had to go back to the mounds. <laughs> what the fuck is even happening? <laughs> Why am I questing through my past and my memories? I guess modern... <clears throat> <laughs> small detail. <coughs> I began my knighthood in Daventry with nothing to my name except the feather in my cap, a cape on my back, an appetite for adventures, and a small shovel in my pocket. Yeah, of course you did, Graham. That's that's great. Buried in the soil was a tiny spiniferous thorn seed. Okay, so those are the things that were uh Covering no the entrance to the there. well, I guess. Ooh. A tiny acorn had been planted in the dirt. Nice. Can I plant it in here? I planted that miniature acorn in the ground, a way to commemorate new beginnings. Okay. Then do we? Let's see what happens if we do this. I want to kind of change where the owl nests, I guess. Maybe. Yeah. That trellis looks better over there. <laughs> this is weird. I don't understand the trellis bit at the moment. <laughs> Shovel it. No. Over there, really. Oh, 
or here. Hey, I'm flexible. Okay. That trellis. <laughs> well, let's see what happens to the owls now. See, that they're protected. I got a giant fucking tree. Cedric will be safe. Ah, ah, good job. Cedric, no! Oh god. Something's still missing in this bird brain equation. I'll try again. <laughs> okay, so the thorn we didn't do anything. So I'm guessing we need to plant you over here. And a thorn weed there. To act as a kind of defense, maybe? No. I didn't abandon that <laughs> family. I found a way to save their son. I'm sure you did, Graham. And then he grew up and chatted shit to you for an entire game. Until you really wished you hadn't saved him. Excuse me, lads. Just need to do 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 do. Right, let's dig up what we got planted and try again. There's the Splithers Thorn Weed. There's the acorn. So let's try the Thorn Weed in there. That looked like a great spot for a Spiniferous Thorn Weed plant to thrive. Okay, he seems to approve. Let's try the acorn in there. Okay. Let's try that. Let's try it. See what happens. Let's see if he can get past. Spiffer Swan Weed! There you go. Oh. I think it's pretty thoroughly. The family of Chirpy Island always smiled to my face, but anguish to my heart. My kingdom was thriving, but I was alone. Who was I building this Daventry for? Owls, apparently. <laughs> Look at the little Cedric. Look at the cutie. Before he gets to be annoying, and even now he has a tiny vest. <laughs> Who's building tiny vests? The loneliness of the road that night was only offset by the company of my hungry, rumbling tummy. I had to the castle for a bite to eat. While it's still there, before it gets disappeared in King's Quest V. Go play King's Quest V. Bam, son. <laughs> That's uh, my seat. Bramble. What good is all this food with no one to share it with? Where is everyone then? Oh, how rude of me. Here you go. Sire. Daventry Decree, 74311. I know, I know. No animals are allowed at the table. There's more adult voice, Did though. the Hobblepots ever respond to my invitation for dinner? No response. I haven't seen them in a while, actually. Oops. Sorry. You're right. Perhaps the guards would accept an invite for dinner. Oh, uh, Graham, we'd love to. We'd love to, but... Yeah, yeah, Decree 911 to the 23rd power. King Say must so, eat alone. Sire. As you were. Oh, before I forget, Larry, you know I restored the budget for your own personal steed, right? Oh, right. Uh, my own personal steed. Uh, thank you. <laughs> well, I suppose I could use the surplus on masking the odor of number two. <laughs> no, I mean Royal Guard number two. Ew. He smells like syrup. It's intolerable, really. It's gotten so bad my helmet fogs up. You get used to it. <laughs> You're absolutely right. We should create a dinner guest out of all this extra food. Uh, Why didn't I think of that? That's a bit sad. That's, that's mm. <laughs> Chicken legs. Eyes, maybe. Graham, this is weird. What good is all this food with no one to share it with? Graham, this is weird. Look at the magic mirror, boy. It will tell you what to do to stop being so Such fucking. Big <laughs> Can't believe you had trouble finding a girlfriend. Ouch! I worked all those muscles for myself, Gwendolyn. Thank you very much. <laughs> you got to be tough to be king. Someone had gotta be rich. Second throne next to mine as a hint. 
I bet it was royal card number two. He was growing old and anxious for grab kids. <laughs> You're using your own name. Oh yeah, we are. You're right. That pun was chairless. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so this is calling back to King's Quest Two, where we find Valenice, our wife. Mm -hmm. Tribes old. Hey, people get old. Bramble. Am I up? My inventory must be loaded with shit. Folded napkin, that's, uh, I guess, reference to my hat. <laughs> Just, uh. Nobody. You're absolutely right. We should create it. Why let's just pile on the meat. Well, now's not that didn't fit. You're not fooling. Now's oh. not the <laughs> And we've collected all the food. So what do you want me to do with it? For another chicken leg, you weirdo. Bread. Can you put the meat back? <laughs> That didn't fit around. You're right. not fooling me. <laughs> well, would you care to join me for dinner? Dinner sounds lovely, but I'm only allowed to leave my post in times of that distress. Voice. Or if that plate of peas needs to be replenished. Oh, <laughs> oh I think they went too strong on the lavender again. <laughs> smell the spices from here. The peas need to be replenished. Look, I've taken them all. That didn't fit. <laughs> can, I, can I leave? Do something! <laughs> Let's put the peas in here. There you go, Triumph. No, it doesn't want peas. Well, what do you want? Do you want a beat? There we go. Please, please. Uh, apologies. I'm allergic to the lavender. Lavender. Do 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 do. Running away. I have a rug now, I guess. Can I throw a rug under your feet? Pull a rug up under your feet. <laughs> Can I use this rug on this chair? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Is that really necessary? That didn't fit there. No. So what the hell do I need this purple rock for? Do I need more meat and peas? Okay, so that's just to lure the guard around, I guess. Someone in place a second. Hmm. So what am I missing here? Aha! That's what I'm missing. There we go. That's a good start. What else can we add to her? Ah, it's getting right. weird. She does need a cape. A purple cape. What about a hat? What should we use for the face? Okay, so I got a cape. Whoop. <laughs> nice. What about a hat? What should we use for the face? Okay, so there's, there's your hat. <laughs> What should we use for the fake? Well, I'm guessing out of the three here, it's probably best to use a Maya. <laughs> Ta -da. Perfect. What should we name her? No, that's my sister's name. You know that. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking something that ends in a soft consonant. It was at that exact moment. Oh, of course it did. A mirror called out to me. <gasps> Hmm. A mirror showed me a magical reflection of a tower far away in the kingdom of Kalima. It told me that the princess I would marry was trapped at the very top, waiting for me to rescue her. Wasting no time, I grabbed a beautiful ring from the royal treasury and headed off to save my future wife. Ha! Oh, looks like my nursemaids are here. Can you excuse me for half an hour? 
You got it, Grandpa. They gotta massage my enormous muscles. Nice dog. <laughs> Playing the Jewel of Wits Home Edition. Gwendolyn, it's your move. Oh. What's taking him so long? I'm honestly not sure. Damn it, you could have won that. He's probably just distracting the nursemaids with his jokes. For four hours? Would that really surprise you? No, I guess not. Why would stop moving the wrong one? We're deliberately throwing this game. So, are you excited for Grandmother's birthday? I haven't even picked out her present yet. Mother helped me pick out mine. I'm told it's the perfect gift. Yes, 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 you're a dick. All right, children. Your grandpa is now ready for you. Uh, Gwendolyn? He asked to see you first. Wait, you're going to be first all the time. Can we go together? Best not to overwhelm him all at once. Besides, I need God's help with the daily decrees. Is it alright if we finish this after lunch? Go ahead. Wouldn't want to keep him from his favorite. <laughs> no one likes you. Your grandfather doesn't have favorites, Scott. He loves each of you in his own special way. Now tidy up and meet me in the throne room. I've got three trays of appetizers with your name on them. Own special way. Eh, doesn't matter. Not with addendum 48677 in the books. <laughs> Dick. Cheat. Eh, good job, fuckface. Yeah, oh, bother. <laughs> Come on, there's got to be another one in there. Just one more, one last quest. Another notch of my feather, a voyage to Neptune's kingdom, or a journey through the infinite desert. Please, Mira, one final adventure. Grandpa? Ah, just the person I wanted to see. Are you doing all right? I am now. Did they find you the right medicine? Your company is better than any medicine in those vials. Yeah. Now, come, sit. And I dig, old Graham. You've got the perfect granddad. This time, you picked the story. Something with a dragon, perhaps. Actually... Could you tell me more about Grandma? Everyone knows she's a great queen, and she's nice, and regal, and wonderful. But none of that's helping me pick out her birthday present. I want to get her something really special. Of course! I suppose there's no better place to start than at the beginning, when my travels led me... Ooh, we were running Shattered back to King's Quest 2? I'm on board with that. It's muscles time again. Yeah. Mom used to tell me this story before bed. Hasn't everyone in Davenger heard this? Climb that tower, rescued Princess Valenice, fell in love, and lived happily ever after. Well, <laughs> fairy tales have a bad habit of simplifying matters of the heart. They weave tales that love just happens easily and with no effort required. The real story is far more exciting than what you've been led to believe. And we're going to experience that next time on King's Quest. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like my content, please do check out my other videos. And if you do, I shall see you there. Goodbye.